Welcome to class. It's good to finally meet you, Hotshot. No, oh, really? Have we met? I wouldn't know that with how often you've avoided having to come to this class. No, I can absolutely see where you're coming from. It would be very awkward to walk into your uncle's class after you promised said uncle you wouldn't go anywhere near California. I can imagine that even now, you feel a little bit unsure of how to handle this situation. I should have known that you'd try to pull something like this. It's my fault for telling you as much as I did about what happened, and now I'm here dealing with the consequences of those actions. Don't act like I don't have a right to be upset with you. I asked you not to go digging into your parents' murder, and still, here you are, doing exactly that. I don't need help, and you don't need to be here. Drop out and go home. No, I'm not asking. I'm telling you to go home. Bullshit. I know it's bullshit because AMP wasn't your first choice. And why was? I remember it. You're not here for an education. Stop arguing with me. This is final. Because you could blow everything that I've been working on for the last month. And frankly, I'm not comfortable with a kid working on something as big as this case. Stop trying to contradict me and focus on what I'm saying. Drop out and go home. I am not going to encourage this. You are putting yourself in too much danger and I won't risk anything happening to you if things go south. If something happens to me, then I'll handle it. This isn't something you should be getting involved in. It's not a question of being able to handle it. I just don't want you to handle it. What language am I speaking in for you to not get that? Watch it, kid. I'm still upset with you and your sass isn't going to make anything better. You leaving will actually make things better because I won't have to look over my shoulder and worry about you while I look after myself. I don't need you looking after me. I'm a grown-ass man who knows what he's doing. You're a kid who's way in over their head. Because this is dangerous. Finding your parents' killer is dangerous. I don't want you in danger. <sighs> Listen, things seem easy now. You may feel like it could be a little challenging, but this place isn't what it seems. There's a lot more happening under the surface than just team tryouts and classes. You fuck up, and you will die. You can't actually say that and mean it, because death doesn't work like that. You Do you honestly think that you can tell me that you won't end up hurt? Do you think that life will just let you do what you want because you think you're the main character? Newsflash, it won't. You don't know how ugly shit like this can get and if your parents were here... No! They wouldn't let you go through with any of this. They'd keep you as far away from it as possible. I am trying to do that for you. For them. Listen, I know things have been hard since that day. 
myself trouble coming to terms with it because I'm not even sure that this is real. But can you honestly look me in the eyes and ask me to risk losing the only family I have left by throwing them right into the fire? You're such a stubborn jackass. I know it runs in the family. I'm sure it's what's gotten you this far. I'm surprised that you've spent some time here all while avoiding having to talk to me. That's almost impressive if it wasn't a little bit offensive. Am I wrong for trying to talk you out of this? Fine. Yes, I'm letting you stay here. On one condition. If I let you do this, then you'll listen to me. If I tell you to stop, or to back down from something, or to wait, you do that. No ifs or buts. You listen, and that's the end of that story. All right. Did you have a plan when you enrolled yourself here? Well, while you do that, I need you to handle something for me. That is a list of all the things that each member of choir has been accused of doing by other students during their tenure here at school. A lot of it was disproved, but some of those disprovals were accompanied with checks to the school and the families of the students who made the accusations. They're all considered gossip now, but I have a good feeling there's truth to them. You're going to hand it off to me. I'll use these to start an investigation on choir. From there, that'll get me a foot in the door to start looking into AMP as a whole, and then I'll get what I need and find out who murdered our family that day. The how doesn't matter. What does is that you gather all this information before the parent-teacher's meeting next semester. I'm not telling you that information in case something does happen. Then you can be charged for being a co-conspirator. You'll just be a student who gossiped a lot to a nosy teacher. I used to go to this school hotshot. Choir isn't just a student council. It's a circle of rich kids whose families put them here to follow up on a legacy they made. They're here to prove to their parents that they're ready for the big world. And for some kids, that big world is less savory than ours. Exactly. And while I don't know the specifics of it all, between those five kids, Someone there knows something about your parents. And in order to figure that out, we need to crack choir wide open. I'd suggest starting small. Focus on the less jail-worthy items and build your way up from there. In the meantime, I'll be working behind the scenes to set things up. I know someone here did it because the guys they charge to the incidents are hired guns who usually work for a ring of people who just so happen to be the parents of these kids. While the police think they did it to rob the place, my sources say that they were under orders from someone within that ring. We don't know who that is, but if we can start enough noise with choir, we could open the door wide enough to snoop around other places. I do need you to be careful, though. I mean it. These kids may not look it, but some of them have to really prove themselves. And they're desperate. Once you start digging in their business, they'll start getting suspicious. Learn what you can, and stay out of their sights. Got it? Good. Yes, us meeting like this is going to be a recurring thing. 
The school doesn't have any actual classes for ethers, seeing as how we're the only two, presently. So they've opted to let me take you on as an apprentice during your tenure here. They don't know we're related, on account of our surnames being different, a lack of basic research, and assumptions on most of the faculty's part. So let's keep it that way so that our plan can stay intact. Alright. Don't thank me yet, kid. We're still not done here. Take the rest of this class time and your schedule off and go see your boyfriends. Students talk. Teachers talk more. And I know a thing or two. Now scram. Oh, and one last tidbit. Your attendance is mandatory. No more avoiding me. If we have a class, show up. I've kept your attendance spotless, but you have to show up for the sake of appearances. Understood? Class dismissed then, kid. Sorry, I didn't realize it was you trying to get my attention. No need to apologize. I wasn't that busy. Just looking over the syllabus I was planning. Everything's in order. I just needed to make sure that the students I'm looking over would be capable of taking on the workload. You're right. Kids can be pretty surprising. Was there something I could help you with? You seem pretty anxious about something. Coffee? No, I wouldn't mind going out for it. Relax. The coffee can just be coffee. I wasn't taking it in any sort of way. That's sweet of you. I guess I would appreciate a little talk on how things usually work here as a teacher. Let me grab my jacket and we can go.